Hi, in this video series we're showing you how to install the Centrify Agent for Windows automatically using Group Policy and how to configure it for MFA and corporate enrollment. First and foremost we need to verify the steps. In my environment I have a domain controller, it's quite simple environment. I have a domain controller, I have a member server, and I have a Windows 10 machine. This server is not going to be used. What I've done is I've created a checklist to make sure that we can go over all the configuration and make sure that it's in, everything is in place based on the blog post that we just wrote. So, first we need to have an identity platform configured for MFA and that hits three places. We need to make sure that the policy is enabled, that the configuration profile is properly set, and that there's an authorized group that is allowed, allowing computers for MFA. So, first we're going to go to policies and we're going to review our policy. If I look at login policies, Notice over here on the Unix and Windows servers, this will apply to server class systems, but my authentication profile is called server authentication. Notice that I don't have any conditional access rules. Same thing here. I have one policy for my Windows workstations, same uh, authentication profile, no conditional access rules. If we scroll down to settings network, right, um, I have a Centrify connector already active and running. Also, if we review my authentication profiles, we're going to go back to that server authentication uh, authentication profile. And notice here, I have a set of step up methods and a set of MFA methods. Very importantly, you don't want to double challenge for the password and make sure that FIDO UTF is not checked because this method is designed for websites, not for servers. So this looks good. My final check is to make sure that I have a role that contains the computers that are going to be allowed for multi-factor authentication. For this, typically I have an MFA computers CAP role and the members, just to make my life real easy here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Win10 machine that I'm testing. Uh, notice that this is the authorization st uh, step, so let's go ahead and press them for most check computers and I'm going to do Win10. So this explicitly uh, authorizes the Win10 machine to be able to do MFA. So I'm going to go ahead and press Add, right? I need to make sure that the administrative rights that this gr uh, group has is computer login and privilege elevation. And in this case, I press Save. So the checklist is already running because uh, working because I already had a step that I would have missed. So the next thing is my software distribution share and make sure that the MSI and transform files are present. So I actually placed everything under this machine called member. And uh, the, the shared is called software. So here's the MSI file and the MS transform file as well. I need to make sure that this is reachable from my test system. So I'm going to do the same thing. Because we want to rule out immediately any communication issues. So this seems, seems like this, pa this test is passed. Let's take a look at the next step. So group policy. I need to make sure that my Windows group policies are set up in place. So there's two areas. First and foremost, uh, the Windows system needs to trust the uh, Centrify Identity Platform CA, the internal CA that issues the um, integrated Windows authentication uh, certificate for um, IWA over SSL. So for that, we basically deploy one group policy. The group policy is under computer configuration, Windows settings, and it's under public key, security settings, public key policies, and it's, we're deploying a trusted root certification authority, and we are putting in the certificate that was retrieved from the settings page of the platform. The other uh, setting is the software installation. So one of the things that we're doing here is we are basically specifying uh, the deployment that is assigned, right, and uh, it's going to be using uh, the transform file that is in there. So we onboarded the, the actual MSI package, right? And we're specifying the transform file that is in the share, right? So that is it for the Windows GPOs. Now I need to verify the Centrify configuration GPOs. And there's basically, in my particular use case, uh, mandatory we need to set up the platform URL we need to turn on MFA uh, I have a couple of users that one is going to be 
prompted from a play, the other one is going to skip it. So let's go ahead and take a look at those GBOs. So on the Centrify settings, um, I have the window settings and the starting common settings. So specify a re list of rescue users. So in here, this is my the users that are going to be skipping MFA in case of a problem, right? So this is my Centrify MFA rescue users group. If I look at the uh, group itself, it's already populated. Um, it's very easy to make the mistake of not populating groups, right? So I have Diana who's going to be skipping MFA. Let's look at the actual MFA settings. First and foremost, the platform URL, right? We need to make sure what is the, uh, the URL that's going to be used. And here it is. This is going to be my platform URL. Another, the other switch is enabling multi-factor authentication, right? This is actually enabled. Uh, the next one is what are the users that are going to be required for multi-factor? And here you have it. My Centrify MFA users, if I look at it, is populated with Lisa inside of it, right? Um, also, I need to make sure that Lisa can satisfy the MFA the challenges. So if I do a, a new incognito window, right? And let's go ahead and try to log in here. So Lisa, notice that she has all these methods that she can satisfy, and those methods are also in the um, uh, in the authentication profile. So it looks like I'm ready. Uh, the, the other last GPO, and we need to do nothing about it, is we are enabling MDM enrollment for Windows 10 system now, right? So this is this is the default behavior. This is going to enroll the platform as a corporate-owned device. So here, what we've done is we've done all the checklists to make sure that things are fine. In my Windows 10 system, um, and there's no Centrify software installed. So if I look at it right now, there's no Centrify software loaded here. However, um, we also want to make sure that um, there's no certificate trust. So if I look into Trusted Root Certification Authority, there's no uh, certificate from my um, Centrify instance. Um, and now I walk through the checklist, and in the next video, we will test the uh, installation.